is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to do another painting on an 8x10 canvas. Uh, I found the strainer! <laughs> I actually just dumped out my box of uh, painting tools on the floor because I couldn't find this guy either. This is a pancake batter dispenser, and it works really well for a funnel pour. So I wanted to do that, and in the process I found the strainer, so we're going to go ahead and do that one first. So a funnel pour will be coming up shortly. Um, I'm going to stick with our Halloween theme because I love the way the earthy tones are coming out here. They're really not coming out too terribly earth or Halloween-y, but they are coming out pretty earthy, so I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to keep that theme going for the next couple days, so if these are not your cup of tea colors, I'm sorry, but other colors will be coming soon. I tend to go through phases, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me go ahead and go over our colors real quick. I've got Artist Loft Metallic Orange, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Uh, this is Artist Loft Purple, just mixed their, it's their flow acrylic uh, blue and uh, red mixed together. Uh, Color Shift by Folk Art. Um, Black Flash and Liquitex Brilliant Yellow Green. I don't know why I love this so much, but I really do like this color and I hadn't really used it until recently. So, um, yeah. How do I want to do this though? I think I want to do a dirty pour and I've got this little cup of leftover paint. I've got some leftover paint here. I'll just keep making leftover paint we'll do that later. So we'll just make a dirty pour. I'm just going to use this cup. Uh, it's dry. I probably used it for mixing paint. So I think I want this color on the very bottom so it'll be on the top. And then we'll just start layering these in here. Try to alternate between lights and darks because if you put too many dark colors next to each other it just makes the whole piece kind of dark so. not a lot of uh, cell action happening in our cup here yet which is a little unique typically with all the metallics which there's three <laughs> in here it will tend to go a little bit crazy, but it's not. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of orange down just to help the flow. And if I feel like we don't need this entire cup, we won't use the entire cup. Yeah, I know. I said a little bit, and then I just dumped that whole bunch on there. It just helps keep the uh, design more intact. That's really why I do it. Alright. Alright. There's plenty of paint here. Looking pretty cool on my side. Hopefully your side is looking awesome too. Give it a second to drain out. I wasn't actually planning on this, I just happened to have this here. Where's our cup? Okay, now I'm happy with that. 
love that actually. Wish I was gonna put this on the turntable, but I'm not. I just have to be very gentle and mildly patient. Patient is not one of my talents. Try to kind of bring the middle back to the middle after each uh, corner. Yeah. Right. I do like that so far we've maintained at least our center, our edges are, they're not bad. I'm not unhappy at this point. That looks super cool. Not a lot of that neat, I keep trying to say neon, it's not uh, that brilliant yellow green. I do think I wanna take a little bit more out of the center though. I'm gonna take my gloves off because I don't want them to drip. torch it and see what happens. Definitely that black made an appearance because that's what's making the whole thing kind of dark. Not a lot of orange or blue for that matter. And some purple, so that's good. And definitely not a lot of, there is a lot of blue, sorry. <laughs> not a lot of orange or that um, yellow green. So that's okay. Might turn into like a peacock slash turkey looking colors here <laughs> with the design and the color selection. Do think there's a lot of paint on the canvas, but I like the design, so I'm not going to worry about that. I don't want to mess up the design in lieu of getting paint off the canvas. So let me just touch the edges up and then I will bring you in for a close up. All right, here we are for the close up. I did have to stick a syringe under here cause it seemed to be falling off that way. I hadn't really noticed it before, but there was kind of little puddles happening. So I was like, oh, that's not good. So I'll have to find a, uh, very level drawing area for this one pretty quickly because I don't want to lose it. But here we go for the close-up. Love this little corner here with the orange and purples together. I think that's really pretty. And then I love our whole design. Only semi thing I wish is that I didn't put probably any of the black in. Maybe when I do the funnel pour there'll be no black. Just because it turned out so dark, and I just knew once it dries, it'll be that much darker. So, yeah. Love our design, though. I think also maybe spinning it would have helped. But I didn't want to get messy today <laughs> with that. But really, really pretty. Let me know what you think in the comments. I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.